guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be talking about the 100th episode and a massive character who may potentially be returning, and it seems like we've nearly got confirmation. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we have to talk about this. Everyone's been freaking out online, there's been a lot of hate comments from people who don't like this one specific character and this actor, but basically Chris Wood has been very active obviously. He returned in Legacies this week, you know, as Kai Parker, his character from The Vampire Diaries. So that obviously got some interviews lined up and he talked a bit and therefore we got this interview from TV Guide. However, you know, so he's got this big thing, he's back on Legacies, I don't know if he's playing a recurring role or not, I don't watch Legacies, maybe I should because I'm such a big Chris Wood fan, but as of right now I don't watch it so I haven't seen it, but apparently he's great, so go check out Legacies. So he's having a sort of resurgence this week, and along with this, he got cast in a new show, and this new show is in fact called 30 something. But that was what it was originally called, now it's called 30 something else. I thought I would just, you know, include it in this video because this is kind of heavily to do with Chris rather than, you know, just the character. So yeah, Chris has been cast in a major role in this. So therefore you can lead to believe that he won't be back as Supergirl next season. Obviously this is just the pilot, so it could just be a pilot and then, you know, nothing happens to the show. It doesn't get picked up for like a whole series. But more than likely than not, it's probably going to get picked up for a whole series and he's got a major role. That means next season, you won't be seeing Mono around and this wouldn't be shooting in Vancouver. And this is one of his first roles, you know, not playing a CW character or, you know, as part of the CW universe, I guess you would call it. Because, you know, he's very much so in the CW family with, you know, the Vampire Diaries and Supergirl and now Legacies. And so yeah, Variety confirmed that he will star in this new TV show, so maybe that puts out a bit of hope for him to return like as a full cast member ever. But anyway, so let's move on to talk about the big news that we need to talk about. And this comes from the TV Guide interview, where obviously they were talking to him about Legacies as he was sort of promoting a bit. You know, he's been very active on Twitter the last few days. And it's been very cool seeing the resurgence of him because remember, he stopped acting as a whole right after Supergirl Season 3 ended. So, you know, summer, sort of April, May 2018, he stopped acting and he came back to film Legacies and potentially Supergirl. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And so, yeah, this article is from TV Guides. You can check it out in the description below. But anyway, so this episode is the 100th episode. I should have a video out on that either later tonight or tomorrow to do with the episode synopsis that was released about that episode. But we know that Mr. Mixes Pillick is back in the episode. So essentially, Kara's gonna be granted a wish where she can see different things at different times and, you know, revisit stuff, essentially. So obviously there is a really high chance that Monel will be back because you know, Monel played a massive part in Kara's life in season two and also season three, and that's a big chunk. You know, that's when she's, you know, become Supergirl, and you know, she's starting to develop herself as Supergirl as Kara by the time that Monel came around. So that's a massive thing, and I really, really, really think that he's actually going to show up. And so, this is cool. We need to talk about this because. In this interview with TV Guide, he says this. This is Chris speaking. I was in Vancouver during the 100th episode, Wood told TV Guide, when they asked whether we would keep our eyes peeled for Monel. And I went to the party, and that's as much as I can say. Just like Monel, it looks like Wood will remain evasive with his future knowledge. So, yeah, he says, and that's as much as I can say. That's the classic, oh, I've got something to say. But you know what, I can't actually say that because I'm under a contract and, you know, this is supposed to be a surprise or something. So it seems like, you know, he's definitely hinting right here that, you know, he's got something to say. But he says, I was in Vancouver during the 100th episode. That is an important thing because obviously we knew he was there, but he's clearly stating it when asked this question 
you know, it's a clear hint that, you know, why was he in Vancouver? Yes, Melissa lives there most of the year, but Melissa actually visits him in LA or wherever he is. And so it's not such a big deal, but it's a big deal that Chris is in Vancouver because he literally barely goes to Vancouver anymore. Obviously, I don't know whether the legacy shoots or anything like that, but you know, he's not part of Supergirl right now, so there's no need for him to be in Vancouver unless he wants to come up and film, basically. So he was in Vancouver during the 100th episode, and all hints lead towards Monel's return, really, as of right now. And personally, I think it's really about damn time that we see Monel again because it's been a really long time. We've got Wim back now. He's going to be around for a few episodes, so why not bring back Monel? Considering they're doing a sort of It's a Wonderful Lifestyle 100th episode where they look back at the past, look back on sort of Kara's relationships and stuff like that. Monel is such a big part, they would be really missing something if they did not contact Chris to try and get him back because he's vital to part of her story and so it makes complete logical sense that he would show up. So I think as of right now, it's pretty much confirmed due to this interview and this interview is the thing where I'm like, oh shit, well, it looks like Monel is actually going to come back. And so, you know, going back to the quote, he says, and I went to the party and that's about as much as I can say. So he also mentions I went to the party. Why would he go to the party? Obviously he was there in Vancouver for whatever reason, but we, you know, can theorize about that reason like we have been. And why did he go to the party? Why were none of the other cast members from the past there? Why was he specifically in Vancouver around the time the 100th episode airs? If he was just there for the party, he would have been there for like the weekend or something like that, but he was actually around for quite a while. I think it was like maybe a week or like two weeks or something like that. He was sticking around Vancouver. So, you know, he had a reason to be there. And I don't think it's just solely to visit his wife, Melissa. I think it's definitely got some other meaning. And I'm fairly sure that legacies don't actually shoot in Vancouver. So that wouldn't be the reason why he would be there. So, yeah, very interesting stuff. I think it's pretty much confirmed as of right now. And as to the other people who may appear in the 100th episode, I think you can be optimistic about maybe Floriana Lima showing up for a small cameo. I'm not so sure about Callista Flockhart as Cat Grant, and you may see some familiar faces pop up. We know there is, you know, like Ben Lockwood coming back and stuff like that, but that's not such a big deal because they are new characters, they're not very nostalgic, and they're pretty basic. So also we know Mercy and Otis Graves are returning in this episode. Again, very forgettable characters, but you know, they're going back to all these events throughout these different seasons. So I'm guessing you're gonna have people from the past coming, like Monel, and like, you know, I guess like Allura might show up at a few points. It could be anyone. Really off the top of my head, all I can think of is Monel, Allura, and that's about it as of right now. But, you know, there is a chance that you may see like flashbacks with the younger versions of Kara and Alex and, you know, maybe a younger version of Lena. We know this episode, you know, is pretty much to do with Kara and Lena and their relationship and that's why they go back in the past. But more on that in tomorrow or later tonight's video to do with the 100th episode synopsis, it's pretty likely that we will see the return of at least a few of these sort of major characters, not like Ben Lockwood or like Mercy and Otis Graves, but more along the lines of Chris Wood as Monel. Obviously we've got Jeremy Jordan, he's sticking around during this episode and it will be his last one before he heads off. But for now, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for Chris and his new job doing that pilot on ABC? Also, did you like Legacies? Let me know in the comments down below. And do you think that Monel is pretty much confirmed to come back as of right now? Because I believe he is. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.